just we were talking in the first break about the injury that you sustained against the Dragons in the qualifying final. So, I mean, I remember going up to the Centennial Hotel, which a friend of mine calls Jurassic Park for reasons I won't go into. But um, uh, I remember having a Crown Lager and going, I can't believe we're in the grand final, but I was feeling so badly for you because it looked terrible. How did it turn around over that week? Uh, I was shattered because I'd already signed to go to England, go to Wigan after that. Uh, so I thought, oh, that's it's over. My, my foot ballooned up straight away. I thought, you know, she's all over. Mm. Um, I was devastated. Happy the boys got through and, you know, went home. And it wasn't like every day I just thought I was 0% chance. My missus said, oh, let's just give it a crack. And I said, I was just like, no, it's over. That's it, Good you know. Uh, and then day by day, we just I was icing it around the clock and it just got a little bit better and then... Um, the next day I had an x-ray just to see if it was broken. Doctor, uh, there was no break. So there was ligament damage in there. And then I had a meeting with Dr. Quar and he sort of said, you know, look, we could roll the dice here. Um, worst case, it does end your career. You know, you might not play after this if yeah. you do some bad damage to it. Uh, what do you want to do? And I said, let's, let's do it. So we needled it uh, on the Saturday. Um, and then I didn't realise, so my ankle felt okay, but I went to run and my knee was sore. So I didn't realise that I actually, that crack that I heard... I tore cartilage in that knee as well. Oh, don't tell me. So he's gone, right out, let's, let's jab the knee. <laughs> Bang. And then in, in ANZ Stadium there, I was just thought, I can walk without any pain. I just felt this rush of emotion go through the body. And I was doing a couple of stride, stride throughs down uh, the tunnel there. Yeah. And I walked outside and Sheenzy goes, how'd you go, mate? And I said, I'm in. And he just went, he looked at me like that for about a second. He goes, right out, go tell the boys. And I just went in and told so the boys. So on the day? The Saturday, the Saturday. The Saturday, okay, yeah. So with the, the captain's run, I, I did a little bit. I didn't do the, any training all week. I did a little couple of little um, shuttles and then Shinzi said, right, I'll do a couple of dummy half scoots and if you if you tell me you're good enough, you're good enough. Yeah. So I went in, the boys are sitting in the video room waiting for Shinzi to walk in. I just walk in and they just go, like, where'd you go? And I said, I'm in and the room just erupts. <laughs> it's like... But what's what's the, 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 the onset of that actually running uh, on needles on injuries? What's what, more damage done? Well, there wasn't wasn't any more damage done in the yeah. end, luckily. Okay. But but it's a weird feeling when you can't feel your knee so, or your ankle. Yeah. It's sort of like you're running on memory. Yeah, yeah. It's sort of like you so just. So what's telling what to do? What? So your proprioception's <laughs> gone. You don't know where your leg is. Like that's how, right. How, yeah. You just, did, you, did you replicate the needles the next day, or was it still the same needles? Yeah, no, I had to, over? Had, so had to, to do the do same it. ones. Had to go and bash it, and then uh, had some more half time too. Yeah. Were you a subject of one of those like helicopter trying to spot footage of Pat Richards warming up? Ah, like Cooper Cronk stories. <laughs> it was it was a little bit like that. Yeah, yeah mate, yeah. they were following us back then. I mean, yeah. it's it'd be a different story nowadays with all the social media and whatnot. There was none of that back then, but. Uh, they were they were ringing up. They rang up my mum's. They found our, our house number and they rang up like they're asking, trying to get information. And <laughs> the journos were so it was yeah. just a crazy time. And the, luckily, to just get through it, be on the field, and then I feel like I got rewarded in a way. I got through the whole preparation part. I got on the field. I didn't really do much in that grand final other than score that try. So I feel like. I got through it and that was my reward. And, yeah, and did you score a try in the grand final? I think I did. Yeah. Oh, yeah, right. Roll the, tape, roll the tape. Roll the tape. 